The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. You work to protect your farm's legacy and to keep it going. Introducing the Enlist Weed Control System, an advanced herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate for exceptional control of tough weeds. The next chapter begins. Our Weed of the Week is downy brome. Some people call it cheatgrass. Others say, no, that's not cheatgrass. True cheat is cheatgrass. We still call downy brome cheatgrass on our farm, though. You know, I look at it this way, Brandon. There's, there's just a lot of misidentification of grass weeds, whether it's downy brome, Japanese brome, true cheat, whatever the case may be. A lot of people see that. Hey, I got this grass problem. It's out in my winter wheat. I'm just going to call it cheat. Okay, so here is our program if you have cheat grass on your farm or downy brome, which is our weed of the week today. Start with a good pre-emerge herbicide, that would be prepare. 0.2 ounces in the higher pH ground. If you have lower pH ground, 0.3 ounces, the full rate is what you're gonna wanna run with. And if there is any downy brome that's up, you mix some Roundup in, it does an awesome job. If we just had Roundup Ready Wheat Brand, this would be really simple, but we don't, so we've gotta do a number of other things. Okay, then the very best product after that is going to be Maverick post-emerge in the fall. We wanna control this downy brome in the fall. We want two shots on it in the fall. So a pre-emerge and then a post-emerge in the fall and you should pretty well wipe out your downy brome issue. Maverick's the very best, but it also has the longest rotational restriction to other crops. After that, I would say PowerFlex is the way to go. There's certainly Olympus out there too. I like the PowerFlex because we have a lot less rotational restriction when we're going to go to some of these different broadleaf crops like soybeans. Well, one of the most important things you said there is you can only control this weed in the fall. So you have to take a couple of shots well, not, at it in the fall. In, not, in the spring, we just get suppression. It's yeah, just too well established that we can't completely wipe it out in most cases in the spring. So you have to be after it in the fall. Now, if you don't get a lot of rainfall, and that cheat comes up or that downy brome comes up much later, that gets to be a little more challenging. But if you do get a little bit of moisture in the fall to get that coming, uh, it's awesome if you can wipe it out then. That way in the spring, your crop can just grow and grow and choke out any other weeds. But if you don't control it in the fall, you do at least have options in the spring. You certainly could use PowerFlex in winter wheat and spring wheat, Gold Sky is probably the best way to go. So there are choices, but again, you're probably only gonna get suppression. And one of the toughest grasses coming up this fall could be downy brome. Get it under control on your farm. Take two shots at it this fall, and if you need to, you may have to take another shot at it again next spring. That's it for our Weed of the Week, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.